Hello, it's me again. In this video, I show you test automation with Ulink Plus in action. The previous videos showed debug, trace and power measurement. Nowadays, many developers use automated test stands to verify software during development. And Ulink Plus offers the ability to communicate with the target on the test using digital and analog I.O. signals. So let's take a look at the example application that we want to test. Our application has two analog inputs and two signal LEDs. When an analog value goes above a threshold, the corresponding LED is active. The input of A in 1 comes from an onboard potentiometer. And the other analog input is stimulated by a Ulink Plus test output. We can use Ulink Plus to verify the A in 1 input voltage. From the debug settings dialog, open the debug script and configure the Ulink Plus I.O. pins. And now we start the debugger. The Ulink Plus Analyzers window confirms the correct pin configuration. Observe value changes on pin 4 when you rotate the potentiometer. The LED is on above 2.5 volts. And now I apply 2.7 volts to the analog output pin 7. This now turns on the second LED. You may use debug functions to automate signal generation. And templates help you to get started. The step sweep function generates a voltage ramp. Use the command window or toolbar buttons to run the functions. You can observe voltage changes on the analog output pin and LED behavior. You have seen that Ulink Plus allows you to control the hardware under test. The overall functionality goes far beyond this video. You can build continuous integration tests and start the debugger in batch mode. You can create and measure signals. Debug functions allow scripting. Microvision even offers a remote control interface that you can use from other test applications. Thanks for watching this video and enjoy using Ulink Plus with Carl MDK.